the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Christian Care Ministries, your host, Louis Ruffin. Blessed be your name, O God. We thank the Lord, amen, for his many blessings and uh, his kindness unto us. Christian Care Ministries, your host, Louis Ruffin. Thank you so much for all that you say and, and your, for your feedback. Appreciate that so much. You know, our God is a good God, isn't he? He's such a wonderful Savior. We just ought to praise his name. We're just so thankful unto him for all the things that he does. Because he never stops doing great things for you and for me. Oh, yes, yes. Is anyone among you sick? Mm -hmm. Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with all in the name of of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We glorify you. We thank you, O God, for your salvation. That is so great. We thank you for your many blessings and kindnesses unto us, O God. Lord, we thank you for the privilege to draw near unto you and how you draw near unto us, O God. We thank you, O God, for keeping us from all hurt, harm, danger, seen, and unseen. We bless your wonderful name, O oh God, and we can't thank you enough for the great things of that you're doing, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, how you've uh, touched the hearts of so many uh, volunteers uh, uh, to help uh, doing uh, uh, the crisis shutdown. Amen. We thank you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you touch the hearts of many uh, to get out of their comfort zone and, and to help other strangers that they didn't know and uh, to sacrifice uh, their own needs to uh, help and provide needs uh, for others, oh God. We uh, thank you, oh God, for that exceeding great army of volunteers uh, that you raised up, oh God, to, uh, to give and to help uh, to benefit others, O oh God, um, uh, even uh, uh, the strangers, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, for the kindness uh, that you place in the hearts of those, O oh God, amen, that went out of their way uh, to help somebody that didn't have, O oh God. Uh, many of them were in uh, a situation that they've never been in before, oh God, and uh, places they had to go, amen, so they could just get a meal, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, many were shut down, oh God, from their daily routine uh, through no fault of their own, oh God. And we thank you right now in the name of Jesus for those courageous workers, oh God, uh, uh, that went to work in spite of, oh God, uh, uh, the evil atrocity that was placed upon them. Oh, God, amen, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we thank you, oh God, amen, uh, for the wisdom and the knowledge and understanding, oh, God, um, that they went forward anyway and worked uh, without pay, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you uh, because there's nobody <laughs> like you, oh, God. You're yet in control, oh, man, with the enemy. uh -huh. Uh, worked, oh God, for evil. God turned around in good. We saw some good, yeah. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Uh, the crisis is not over, but oh God, you're in control in the name of Jesus. Uh, and you can do it uh, once again, oh God. Uh, you can make a way uh, out of no way once again, oh God, because uh, we know it's coming up again because of evil, wicked men, oh God, uh, that don't care, amen. No, 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 but you've got people, you've got children in need, but oh God, hey, you can work it out, Lord, that you can, in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we praise you, oh God, in Jesus' name, amen. Now, we're talking today, amen, about pay the price. You know, Judas Iscariot, yeah, one of the 12 of the apostles, yes, uh-huh, yeah. Uh, he was a betrayer, yes, he was. He was against everything ha, that Jesus stood for. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. But you know, Jesus used it. Yes, he did. He used it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he used that betrayer, right? Uh-huh, yeah. Because he went to the cross. Jesus paid the price. He went to the cross. 
Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, he did. He went to the cross. He willingly laid down his life. But you know, he had to agonize over it. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. It was in that garden. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, his soul was exceedingly sorrowful, uh, even unto death. See, he had a type of death right there in the garden of Gethsemane. Because we're talking about paying the price. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he paid that price. See, he, uh, he had his sidekicks with him. He had his buddies with him. But you know, they fell asleep. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. They fell asleep. Uh, their eyes got heavy and they went on to sleep. You know how it is. You get sleepy sometime and you just go on to sleep. You just give in to the sleep and, and you go. So Jesus agonized um, uh -huh, uh, to bring this flesh uh, uh, under control. Yeah, as an example for you and me because he's the God of all flesh. Yeah. Yeah, you know that prayer in uh, St. John uh, 17, yeah. Yeah, he got power of all flesh. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And, isn't that one of them? That his spirit's inside of us, that empowers us uh, over our flesh, amen? But yeah, we miss it sometimes. <coughs> yeah, we betray sometimes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. And nobody alive to have done anything wrong. You've done something wrong. Yeah, yeah. Before you were saved and while you were saved, yeah. Going through a process of being saved. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. These other apostles, they was concerned about who was going to betray Jesus. Uh, but they never did figure it out. And that's a good thing because, you know, uh, Peter the swordsman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, two swords, didn't he? Uh-huh, yeah. What, two swords, one sword? But he had a sword, didn't he? Uh-huh. And what did he do? He cut off that ear. Yeah, uh-huh. He wasn't playing, was he? Oh, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. See, that's what's going on today. A lot of church people, they are playing and not praying. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure enough. Because, see, Jesus got the victory through prayer as an example for you and me. Everything that Jesus did was an example for you and me. Amen. Teach us how to get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's something. Pay the price. Yes, Jesus did. Yeah. And uh, sweat came down, right? Uh, drops of blood, yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Drops, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. You, you've seen people sweat before, uh-huh, yeah. Uh, but you know, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Uh, it's something real, yes, it is. It works, the blood works, yes, it does. Work the blood, yeah. You remember in the Old Testament, you're an Old Testament reader, you're a Bible scholar, you know, in the book of Exodus, mm-hmm. It says, when I see the blood, what am I going to do? I'm going to pass over you. Put that blood on the doorpost, you know, bang, bang, you know, like a cross, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because I'm coming, uh, yeah, and they're going to pierce me in my side, yeah, and blood and water is going to I'm paying the price that you might have a right to the tree of life. I am the tree of life. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm giving my life that you might have life. Mm -hmm. I'm shedding my blood. I'm suffering that you might bless and be a blessing. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I know that's our saying. You say, hey, be blessed, have a blessed day. Amen. Uh, why don't we bless somebody else for once in a while? Uh -huh. Yeah, we're talking, amen, about paying uh, the price. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's something about it. Mm -hmm. uh when we look at uh, Matthew uh, chapter uh, 26 and uh, uh, verse uh, number 45, then cometh he to his disciples and said unto them, Jesus talking to his disciples, uh -huh, and said, sleep on now and take your rest. Amen. You see, uh, the church is sleeping today. Yeah. yeah. Yes, they are. They're sleeping. They feel like they got plenty of time to do whatever they want to do. And so they are sleeping at a dangerous time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in verse number 45, Matthew chapter 26, and take your rest. Yeah, the church is resting now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I like that verse, don't you? In Matthew, uh, around the 11th chapter, at the, the very end of that chapter, when it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and, and heavy laden, and, and I will give you rest. Yeah. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, the church is resting at a dangerous time on a false premise that they got plenty of time. We do not have plenty of time. Mm -hmm. 
Who would have ever thought that the government would be shut down? Yeah, isn't that something? Yes, uh-huh. Something that no foreign power has ever been able to do in our existence, but yet the present administration figured out a way on a false premise, amen, to shut the government down. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, he was not the first president that started something on a false premise, if you go back, amen, and, and look at our history. Yeah, there was another president that talked about the uh, uh, weapons of mass destruction, no such thing. Mm -hmm. But millions of lives later, mm -hmm. oh yeah, war is hell, yes it is. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at all uh, those that have come back from war and uh, they have this, uh, what is that, PTSD, uh, post-traumatic uh, stress uh, syndrome, or however you pronounce it. Uh, it. It turns you into a different person. War is hell. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. now, some people, you know, they dodge. They don't even, they don't even want to even go to war. Or they'll go to Canada. Oh, they'll come up with with some kind of an excuse why they can't win if they have the money. Yeah, yeah. They buy themselves. See, wouldn't I tell you? Pay the price? Yeah! Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're quitters. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. they never really started when you were a Dodger, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, pay the price. Yeah, verse 45 in chapter 26 of Matthew. Uh, the hour is at hand... And the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Oh, my. This was for our good. Yes, it was. All things work together for good. And this was our good that Jesus went to the cross for our sins. Yes. We couldn't save ourselves. No. No, we, no, we could not. We could not save ourselves. No, sir. No, ma'am. We, could, we couldn't do it. We couldn't do it. We, couldn't, uh, we could not save ourselves. No, we couldn't. That's why Jesus came, mm -hmm. that we might be saved and to save ourselves from this untoward generation, from this crooked generation, from this perverse uh, generation, from this hateful uh, generation. Oh, yes. Mm. All right. Jesus paid the price. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. For you and for me, he paid the price because we could not pay the price for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, in Revelations, when you read that book, uh -huh, someone was, uh, was weeping. Yeah, John was weeping, right? Because he couldn't find anybody worthy <laughs> to open that book. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Uh, there was a search made uh -huh, in heaven, yeah, on earth, in the sea. There was a search made, yeah, but couldn't find nobody mm -hmm, that was worthy. Mm -hmm. So over that book, eh? oh, what did the angel say? He said, weep not. <laughs> ah, don't you weep. Ah, because the line of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. Yeah. He's prevailed. Yes, he has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has prepared uh, himself. Yes, he has. Uh -huh. uh, he went into that garden and anguish. So, yeah. And he prayed through. There was a breakthrough. He was delivered so that he could deliver us, pay the price. Mm. Oh, yeah, he's worthy. He's worthy. Yes, he is. He's worthy of our praise. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So get on up. That's what he says here in that verse uh, 46, isn't it? He said, rise. Let us be going. Behold, he is at hand. That does betray me. And I'm willing ha, to be betrayed because I love you. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Because of love. Mm -hmm. Love woke me up this morning. Love started me on the way. That's right. That's the price, isn't it? Yeah. That's the price. God is love. Yeah. And he manifested his love toward us by taking away our sins. <laughs> yes. And if we sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous, because he paid the price. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Jesus. He's a wonder. Yes, he is. He's a mighty God. Yes, he is. There's nothing too hard for him. Oh, that's right. 
That's right. Oh, my. Oh, my. You remember the man who was trying to get into the pool, and he couldn't get in the pool? Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, somebody I was always beating him to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, God just said, oh, look, what do you want? You want to be made whole? You don't even have to get into the pool to be made whole. No, sir, no, ma'am. Mm. Ah, Jesus was right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he was right there. Mm. And the centurion said, you don't even have to come into my house. Just say something. <laughs> just speak the word because he was the word. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He's full of grace! He's full of truth! He's full of truth! He's full of grace! He's got you, and He's got me, and we can make it because He paid the price. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. He paid the price. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Are you excited about it? That Jesus paid the price? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. We can't thank him enough for all the things that he's done for you and me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what's so interesting about Judas Iscariot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, he didn't uh, go up to Jesus and say, Show me your hands! <laughs> No, he didn't. No, he didn't. What he told those people that was with him, this multitude, by the way, that came after Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Verse 47, chapter 26. And while he had spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came with him a great multitude with swords and staves from the chief priests and elders of the people. And now he that had betrayed him, verse 48, gave them a sign saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same as he, hold him fast. You see, kisses are overrated. <laughs> yes, they are. They're overrated. Yes. Kisses are overrated. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, yes, they are. Look at, did you just read this verse? Okay, let's read it one more time. Verse number, we're talking about paying the price. Mm hmm. A kiss, yes. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, talking about the multitude, the chief priests, the elders, you know, the church people that should know Jesus, ones that had spent time reading the word of God, and they knew the Messiah was going to come, and the, the, what Jesus had accomplished, you would think they would be happy, but no, because it was messing with their prestige, and it was messing with their power, and people weren't looking at them because uh, all the attention was drawn to Jesus and not to them. Mm -hmm. So they was uh, having a uh, selfie temper tantrum. Yes, they were. And so saying, whomsoever I shall kiss, mm -hmm. that same as he hold him fast. You can get a hold of him. You can grab him. Yes, you can. <laughs> Glory to Jesus' name. Mm. And what did Jesus do when he saw all these people coming against him? People that he loved because he came into his own and his own received him not. So it's not an unusual thing, amen, for your family to reject you, amen. Yeah, thank God that your family rejected you and falsely accused you, amen. Go ahead and suffer wrong. It's all right. Jesus had paid the price. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He said, friend, oh, my goodness. Wherefore are you come? Then came they and laid hands on Jesus and took him. You know, you know, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, sir, no, ma'am. If Jesus didn't want to go, he had 12 legions of angels at his disposal, at least. <laughs> mm. Oh, my goodness. And of course, you know, there was somebody right there uh, to defend Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Now, he took out his sword. Yes, he did. That's what Peter did, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, go on, put up your soul. Put it up. No, I'm put it up. I'm willing to pay the price. Yes, I am. I'm willing. Freely, freely. Mm -hmm. And look at verse 53. Didn't we just say that to you? Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels? But how can the scripture be fulfilled? This is all about scripture fulfillment. Pay the price. Jesus paid the price. Yes, he did. 
You glad he did? So glad that he did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. The scripture's got to be fulfilled. In all the disciples, they forsook him. Yeah, that's in verse 56. They, they forsook him. They, they gone. Uh, they were out of there, yeah. And sometimes when you need people the most, they're gone. Yeah, they're out of the picture. That's so you can see Jesus only. Yeah. He paid the price. You remember on that Mount of Transfiguration? There was Moses and Elijah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, and then there was Peter, James, and John. Yeah, they were all uh, having a conference. Yeah. Uh, they was having a meeting. Yeah. Yeah, yes, they were. They was having a real show enough camp meeting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, with a cloud of smoke. <laughs> Yeah, there was smoke there. The cloud was there. Yeah, yeah. And God spoke out of the cloud saying, this is my beloved son mm. in whom I am well pleased. Now, see, this is the wonder of God. This is the amazing thing of God. God was able to project his voice out of the cloud yet in the body. <laughs> Woo! Glory. Mm. Yeah, you got to have revelation for that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, see, Jesus is Father in creation, Son in redemption, and Holy Ghost in regeneration. And Jesus did things for you and for as an example for you and me. Uh, the, the prayer for anguish. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. sometimes our, our flesh mm -hmm, wants things. <laughs> That they shouldn't have, right? Uh, you know that happens sometimes. Uh huh. Just to test where you are. Yeah, yeah. Remember, Jesus paid the price. Mm hmm. And you come under conviction. It gives you an opportunity to know you don't have to betray him. And if you do betray him, you can ask forgiveness. Amen. You can seek forgiveness with a true heart, with a pure heart. Amen. With a sure heart. Yes. Glory. Bless his wonderful name. Talking about. Paying the price. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Jesus paid the price for you and for me. You glad <laughs> that you're saved, that you're sanctified? Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. That Jesus, he's something, isn't he? Yes, he is. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 You see, some people didn't understand what Jesus said. Yeah. Because he said that if you destroy this temple, in three days, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to build it. I'm going I'm to get up. Yeah, I'm going to rise again. See, they're talking carnal things. They were talking natural things. And Jesus was talking about his body. Know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Yeah! He dwells in you? Yeah! Mm -hmm. He paid the price so that he could have the right to dwell in you and in me. Yeah. And we should not forfeit that right. We should not betray that right. Because if we, mm, look out now, look out now. Hold on to yourself now. Hold yourself fast now. Look out now. Because if we defile this body, you know, we're going to be held accountable. Yeah, yeah. All right. You've heard that word before, accountable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jesus accounted for himself. He says, I lay my life down willingly, yeah. For you, yeah, and for you, and for you, mm -hmm. even for the haters, that's right. Sure enough, yeah, yeah, we got haters in our midst, you know we do, yeah, because that's what they uh, did for Jesus, right? They hated on him, ain't right? Sure they did, they hated on him. Mm -hmm. They were moved with envy, they got false witnesses, yeah, and don't you hear that word a lot today about being false? Yeah, uh -huh. some people are, are determined to undo all the values of our Constitution. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that a shame? That's a betrayal. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four score and seven years ago, this is 1863, the Gettysburg Address, just a, a, a portion of it. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty. Look out now and dedicated to the proposition that all men mm, are created equal. Yeah. Got to pay a price for that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Uh-huh. Uh, there was a war. Yeah. The Civil War. Yeah. 
Some people are still fighting. Yes, they are. You know, they are still fighting the Civil War because you see that flag, that flag of hatred. It's historical hatred, but it's hatred anyhow, yeah, because it's a flag of separation, yeah. Mm -hmm. People build walls, amen, for separation, for division. Oh, yeah. Uh, Gettysburg Address, the government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish. Now, they didn't say about one person uh, being a dictator. Mm -hmm. No, did not. Did not say that. We're talking about paying the price yet. Yes, sir. Government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish. Mm. Uh, almost 700,000 uh, deaths uh, during the Civil War. Uh, it doesn't include those people that were injured or lost limbs or these kind of things. How dreadful, or how sad, but we're talking about paying the price and people are still, are still fighting. Yes, they are. They're still hating, yeah. And we're paying the price because we have a divided nation. We have a disunion uh, a nation uh, right now, amen. And that's, a, that's not a good thing. Mm -mm. Jesus was not divided, no, no. No, uh, he was one for everybody. Yes, yes. He went to the cross for everybody. Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. He paid the price for you and for me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, mm. under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's the price that we need to pay. Amen. The pledge of allegiance. Amen. To the flag of the USA. Mm -hmm. Any other flag is a sign of betrayal. It's a sign of hate. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Bless his holy name. This is what I'm talking about. A pledge of allegiance. Amen. To make a commitment. Yes. Amen. That there be no uh, division. All right. Mm hmm in the preamble of the Constitution, we the people, a more perfect union, establish justice, secure blessings of liberty. It's a blessing to be free. Yes! Yes, it's a blessing to be free. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. He that the Son has set free <laughs> is free as deed. He paid the price. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. He paid the price for you and for me. God bless you, heaven smile upon you, is our prayer in Jesus' name.